bitches. It's the misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers. And I'm back up in this bitch for another rant. Um I wanna make this video talking about my uh ratings for certain albums and shit. And uh just wanna clarify certain things when it comes to ratings and stuff, because I'm getting the question and messages all the time like well, you know, on your top 25, how come this album um, wasn't on there when you rated it so, so high when it first came out? And it's real simple. Uh, if you guys are subscribed to Needle Drop or Dead End Hip Hop, they did a joint video uh, last year, I believe. And the Needle Drop uh, said something that basically describes how I rate my uh, videos as well he basically said that um the ratings count for how he feels at the time you know the the initial hearing plus you know I guess the um you know when you give it your first couple of listens you know but you know as the year or whatever progresses other things might come into effect when it comes to that the 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 um album or albums you're listening to um for example when uh recovery came out Eminem's album came out I think what was that 2010 or whatever uh when that shit came out you know I was fucking excited as hell you know Eminem um I, I, it was it was a um rejuvenated Eminem I guess is the right word you know he wasn't doing any more of those um, corny ass accents and shit uh, went back to, to well he never really left with the lyrics but um, it was a less goofy album and I was happy about it at the time so I was very excited you know um, it was fresh on my mind and um, so yeah I, 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 I highly praised the album and everything but you know, the album Recovery, in retrospect, does not have the staying power um, of, um, you know, compared to his earlier albums like um, Marshall Mathers LP, Slim Shady LP. Like, those are albums that, to this day, I could still memorize songs off of. You can't ask me to memorize a song off of uh, Recovery. And, um, you know, it, it's just not the same. And... You know, um, recovery as a whole, you know, looking at it now, very poppy compared to a lot of um, shit that he's done in the past. So, yeah, shit like that. There's a lot of fucking factors that come into play. And um, I know a lot of people were asking me same shit with the Haslow album. Um, I, I rated it, you know, a perfect album. But, you know, in the grand scheme of things... You know, you listen to other shit, and um, I put other shit above it um, when it came to shit that came out last year in 2011. So, I hope that uh, clarified things for you. Um, shout out to my nigga Needle Drop. I've shouted him out various times on this channel. Love that dude. Shout out to Dead End Hip Hop, by the way. And by the way, yeah, um, I know a lot of y'all are... Um, Hoping I'm doing a collaboration with them. You know, everyone's saying, yo, you got to collaborate with Dead End and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we tried to, but um, my webcam on my laptop was on the fritz. So uh, <clears throat> that never uh, came into fruition or whatever. I got a new webcam. I uh, hope to be collaborating with those guys soon. You hit them up. You know, I'm in contact with Mike Seatown and King. So you hit them up if you want to see some shit. They know I'm down. So uh, that's it. Everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love. Leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe. Stay tuned for more rants and reviews. Peace, bitches.